assignment, and I'm only going to do one with you, and then you guys are on your own for the rest. So let's take a look at number two. Uh, let me start from scratch yesterday, like I'm just starting to teach about indirect proofs. Let's say this is a proof on, a mid, on the midterm in two months. What are you going to see that says, hey, I better do this indirectly? What's in this proof right now that says, whoa, time out. Got to do this proof indirectly. What is on here? Start off right. 15. Where? In the proof. I'm proving something's not happening, whether it be a not equal sign or just the word not. Correct. That means I need to do it indirectly. So after I write my givens, I know that I need to show that an assumption is true. And this is the first part I worry about is where you get this assumption. Because as some of you may think it comes from the givens, but it does not. Your assumption does not come from the given. Where does your assumption come from? What are you going to assume is true? Seven, what's good? Good talk. Five, where do I get my assumption? Proof statement. The opposite of it, right? So I'm going to assume that AB is, is congruent to CA. And darn it, I'm going to use that as a given. All right, I'm going to mark it on my diagram because I'm probably going to need it. Now, before I start writing a bunch of random stuff, I have two givens right here. One congruent to two, AD does not bisect CAB. I'm going to have to contradict one of them eventually. Which one is it going to be easier to contradict out of those two? One congruent to two or AD does not bisect CAB? Which one am I going to contradict? Come on, 25. Darn right. And how am I going to contradict it? Somewhere in my statements. Look, I don't know. It could be step five, eight, nine. I don't know. Somewhere in my statements, I'm going to have this written down. AD does bisect CAB. Somewhere in my proof, I'm going to have to have written that down. How am I going to get there, though? That's our job right now together. Get me to this point in the proof that AD does bisect CAB. So I know that these two are equal because I'm assuming that. The given say one is congruent to two. I'll mark those with my arc marks. And then uh, it's our turn now. Get me here. Get me here now. Show me that AD does bisect CAB if I'm assuming this is true. All right, let's go. Let's open this up. Let's build this together. Here we go. Two, start us somewhere. Um, BC equals BC. BC equals... BC, where are we going with that before I write it down? Uh, I was thinking, wait, actually, I don't know what I was thinking. That is true, and I'll write it down. It'll just be, I just don't know where we're going with that. Anything else you can tell me is true. And remember where we're going towards here. You got to show me AD, bi what's bisex mean? Two equal angles, right? So sooner or later, if AD bisects CAB, what two angles have to be congruent before I say that? BAD and DAC, these two right here. We're working backwards a little bit. So now you're thinking, how can I get those two angles equal? Probably by proving what about the triangles? They're congruent, so I could say CPCTC. Everyone see our plan of action. All right, you're not off the hook, Phoenix. Now that I want to know these two triangles are congruent, what else can I say? Uh, I got a pair of sides. A DCA is congruent to a PAB. Why? Because corresponding parts are Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Let me highlight these triangles we need. I'm still not getting you off the hook here. This one and this one need to be congruent. Anything? AD in... All right, there we go. There's a start. Right, everybody? AD congruent to itself. Reflexive. Are we okay on the plan? Prove those two triangles congruent so I can get their angles congruent, which means they're being bisected. I got two pairs of sides, right? The assumed pair and the reflexive pair. Shoot, they, they told us one congruent to two for a reason. I haven't even sniffed that yet. 
Why is one congruent to two? So you could say what? One. Come on, Claire, dig deep. What else? How can I use one congruent to two to get something else about these two triangles I'm trying to prove congruent? Darn right. Don't tell anybody why either. Keep that to yourself. Right here. BD congruent to DC. Now, why is that true? How does Claire know that? 10? How do we know that? In a triangle, congruent sides are crossed with 20 angles. BDC contains two congruent angles. So what's across with them? Two congruent sides. Oh, oh, we're picking up the pace today, aren't we? Ho, ho. I don't even know why I did number five. In a triangle, congruent sides are across congruent angles. Good, Zach. Nice. Now are they congruent? I got enough info? Yeah, why? Before I write it down, why are those triangles congruent, 11? Uh, because side, side, side. Yeah, no. Side, side, side. Get rid of that. Ooh, I'm going to name this bad boy. Ha, triangle BAD. Anybody? Anybody? I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, never mind. Triangle BAD. CAD. Why did I want those two triangles? So you could say what? Six. If the triangles are congruent, so are. Would. Yes, those angles in particular, all the angles are congruent, right? But those in particular are the pair I wanted. So angle BAD congruent to angle CAD. Good job, good job. Why? Always asking the why. 22, why are those two angles equal? Yeah. Acting like you know something now. Good, good. Too harsh? <laughs> Too harsh? Sorry. Get over it. You're going to get voted out next anyway. <laughs> Let's be real in here, guys, right? I'll say it. I'll say it. Come on, that wasn't, that wasn't obvious from the last one. I'll say it. But I let the big secret out, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, real big secret. Campaign for yourself, right? Campaign for yourself. You never know. Miracles happen. All right. Good. All right, so seven. Now, when I get to step seven, if those two angles are congruent, what do I know about AD now? It's a bisector. It's got a bisect, right? If I just prove those two angles equal, AD is definitely bisecting the bigger angle, BAC. And here comes my contradiction. We just hope our paper doesn't catch on fire. AD bisects angle that angle there, BAC. Why? I don't want definition of bisects. Why are we all why are you all sitting in a chair? Oh, that's the definition of a chair. It still doesn't tell me anything. What's a good reason? How do I know what bisects? I'm not looking for something specific. Just talk to me here. Other than definition of bisex 24. Darn right. BAD congruent to CAD. You can say a, a bisector cuts an angle into two congruent angles, which you've already shown. Good work. And what do you guys have written down in step one and seven now? Contradiction. So that tells me that my assumption must have been false. My assumption is false. So if my assumption is false, the opposite of it, AB not congruent to CA has to be true. And how we end all the indirect proofs, assumption led to a contradiction. All 
going, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Tell me what lines those contradictions are on. Where are your contradictions here? Two, four again. Where's those contradictions? Always a given with wherever you contradicted it. In this case, seven. Good. A little bit tougher, kids, huh? All right. Uh, go back to number one. Go back to number one. There's something I want to discuss before I let you run wild. And that is, what are you going to contradict here? Yesterday, and that proof we just did, it's been very easy. I look at the givens. Whatever one has a not in it, I'm contradicting that one. Problem? Neither given have the word not in it. But I still have to contradict one of them. So before I let you start in your groups here, let's figure out, out of these two, triangle ABC is scalene, AE and CD are altitudes, which one do you think you're going to contradict and how we're going to do it? Out of those two, we're going to have to contradict one of them. John, what do you think? Um, I've heard like two angles from the ground. What's scalene mean again? All sides are not congruent. So how could you contradict that? By showing two angles or two sides. It makes basically we're saying what? Proof triangle ABC is isosceles, yes. I just don't want you guys to get in the mindset that in your proof, you have to write triangle ABC is not scalene. You could just write triangle ABC as isosceles, and that contradicts that statement. Okay? So that's what you guys want to end up doing is say triangle ABC is isosceles, and that contradicts that it's scaling. All right? You're going to work on it in your group. When you guys are satisfied, all of you are satisfied, you're going to call me over. I'll check it, and I'll let you move on to the next one. All right? But I want to go proof by proof here. All right? So talk it over within your group. Call me over, I'll check it, or if you're stuck, it's okay to get stuck here. These these bad boys are tough. It's okay to get stuck, call me over. Get working. Let me know when you're done with one. Get ready to grind.